So let's talk about the formation of a peptide. So here we have two amino acids, and so they're going to come together to form a peptide bond. So what happens first? Well, you see there's a negative charge on the oxygen, right? And so what it will do is it will pick up a hydrogen, so it will have zero charge, right? So now once it's stable, well, now because the hydrogen's gone, you have two electrons here, and the nitrogen doesn't have a charge anymore. Well, this is a good nucleophile, right? So the nucleophile will come in and attack this carbonyl, or carboxylic, actually. And so the bond here will go up, and see right here it will go up and become a negative charge and then um, the nitrogen will be stuck there and have a positive charge right so then what will happen is the negative charge can come back down and form a double bond and kick off this OH so then what happens is it still has this uh, positive charge on the nitrogen and the OH is still here right but now it has a negative charge because it's gone from this carbon and so this OH minus will come in and steal a hydrogen um, and then become water, right? Because now it's H2O. So now since it's H2O and this only has three bonds and a lone pair, it has zero charge. So that's how a peptide bond is created and that is the mechanism for it. So this side is called the amino terminal residue, also the called the N-terminal. And this set is the carboxyl terminal residue, also called the C terminal. And usually, as a standard of writing it, they go from the N terminal to the C terminal. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.